So today is all about upgrading our lighting. And I've got these brand new three inch light pods from LastFit that we're gonna be taking out to Anza Borrego to do a real world test. I'm gonna give you my no BS opinion on how they perform, but first we've gotta install them. So we just got back from an off-road trip and the trip was great. But one of the takeaways that I have from that trip is I think a little, need a little bit more off-road lighting. Now, thankfully, LastFit Lighting reached out to me. They sent me these three inch ditch pods that I'm gonna be installing on the Tacoma today. And then we're gonna take the Tacoma out to the desert for a real world test, try these lights out, doing a night run in the desert. It's gonna be great. Let's go open up the lights and get started on the install. Directions, some brackets. You got some pigtails, some hardware, and then obviously the wire connectors. So first things first, I've got to mount these things to the truck somehow. So I ordered these brackets off of Amazon, and I chose them because number one, they were cheap, had decent reviews. And they're nice and thick, so I'm not really too worried about them being too flexible or bendy when I'm on the trail and they're bouncing around. I, I really kind of want to avoid that if all possible. Now, obviously, I'll let you guys know how these work out for me um, when we actually get down to the desert. But for right now, they were super cheap. I'll link them in the description for you guys if you want to use the same ones. And let's get installing. So I got the hood all popped. What we're looking at is installing the brackets right here so i'm going to get my socket out real quick and then we're going to get this bracket this first bracket installed on the driver's side i haven't done this mod before and so i've never loosened these bolts and they were Height, so I had really had to work to get those off, but once they were broke free, it wasn't that big of a deal. If you haven't caught on yet, I did this the wrong way. And you can always count on me for some truth and some honesty. I'm bound to always figure out how not to do it for you guys. And so I did make a mistake. What I think we should have done is put the lights on the bracket before ever installing them um, because obviously you've got some tight spaces to work with. Now, thankfully I did have that adjustable ratchet because I had just enough space. I'll show you guys over here just enough space right here to squeeze that guy in by kind of lifting this up a little bit and not scratching the truck to get that ra uh, that ratchet wrench into place to be able to tighten the bolt but if I would have just put the stupid thing together <laughs> before ever doing any of this I would have been in much better shape but always got to do things the hard way lesson learned so it turns out I wasn't done screwing things up yet Something that I did wrong, and some of you guys may have caught this earlier on in the video, is the bracket. I had it on in between. I had the in between uh, the connection of the bolts and the hood. And it actually, if you can see here, I know it's kind of dark, it's kind of hard to see. It's supposed to go underneath. What had happened was, is I thought I was done, at least with the bolt-on part of it. I went to close the hood, and the hood closed, but it was kind of up in the front, and I'm like, oh, that's not right. And so I uh, came back, took a look at it, and yes, I had put those on wrong. So definitely some lessons here. This is overall a really easy modification, especially after you guys watch this video, because I made all the mistakes, and now you're not going to. So the pods are on there. Um, now the next part, which should be pretty easy, is the wiring. Okay. So these are the pigtail connectors that we have. This next part, this is gonna be pretty easy because as you guys can see here, 
I've got a bunch of 14 gauge wire left over from a least, uh, recent uh, electrical project. And that's what I'm gonna use to wire these guys up. Now I also have, I'll show you guys in a second, an aux beam eight gauge switch panel that these are gonna plug right into. So we're almost done here. Let's get these things all wired up. just to give you guys a little bit of a better view of what we we're looking at this is the aux beam switch panel right here well not the switch panel but this is where all the power distribution takes place and I have plugged it in right there so right now I just have my chase lights and my light bar plugged in but now I've got the ditch lights plugged in right here okay got the battery plugged in we're gonna go hit the switch gauge panel and see how this works Woo, baby, those are right. So my first impression of these is that they look great. Now I did leave them a little bit loose so I can adjust the beam pattern and I'm gonna do my best to do that right now. However, where I'm at, it's I'm at, at my folks' house. I was borrowing their driveway to, to do this install. I don't think it's gonna be exactly how I want it until I actually get out on the trail and so the best way to really test these out is a real world test, test run out in the desert. So what do you say that we hit the trail? Okay, so we're in Anza Borrego Desert State Park. And I thought this would be a perfect place to come and test out these lights. Now we've actually been here for a little while today and I've, as kind of uh, dusk was approaching, I was able to try out the lights a little bit, but we're currently on Fish Creek Trail, which is a really popular trail here. And we're gonna take that down to the iconic Sandstone Canyon, which is a slot canyon that you can drive through. So between this trail and there, I think this is gonna be a really good opportunity to really test the lights and see what they can do. I'm gonna be try, uh, trying them out with the fog lights, I'll be trying them out with the light bar, I'll be trying them out by themselves to just kind of really give us a feel for how these things perform. And at the end of the day, I'll give you guys my honest opinion of what I really think of how these, light, uh, these lights perform. So I'm really excited to get this trail started and this evening started and we've got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get to it. So first up was testing just the pod with just the headlights. Now for my use case, I angled these pods out just slightly. My light bar provides a lot of center illumination, but I really wanted to extend that illumination to my peripherals. Right off the bat, I noticed how much illumination down trail these lights provided. So pretty quickly, I realized that for somebody who's looking for that one light solution, these may be a good contender. Next up was turning on the fog lights. Now I really liked the combination of the fog lights and the pods working together. The amber light is my fog lights, the white light are the pods. What we're testing here is how much light I'm getting down trail. There are some use cases where a light bar actually obstructs your vision. Maybe it's too much dust on the trail and the height of the light bar and the conditions of the trail may make visibility a problem. In a situation like this, the solution may be pods like this. They can cut through the dust a bit better than the light bar due to their height and they're not quite as bright as the spot beam on my light bar so they don't blow up the atmosphere quite the way the light bar does. Now finally, we're testing all the lights working together. Now this is a little bit closer to what I envisioned when I decided to add the pods to my setup. When it comes down to it, the functionality I was looking for in these pods is to really take that bright spot that I've got from my light bar and extend that vision out to my peripheral. The light bar focuses all the illumination straight ahead. I want to be able to have some light there as I'm making a turn. And the last reason I wanted to add these to my setup, it's the cool factor. I really love being able to just blow up the darkness with some bright off-road lights and do some exploring in the middle of the night. Now stay tuned for my final thoughts on these lights, but if you want to see more from these two trails, check out the video from this adventure which is already up on my channel. 
So we've officially reached the end of Sandstone Canyon and man, these lights. What do you guys think? I'd really, I'd really like to know. Hopefully I did a good enough job filming them and getting the light on video. It's really tough to film this stuff at night. Hoping that I did a good job. But let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of these things? What do you think of how I have them set up? Um, I really liked that side light that I got coming in here through the canyon. I really like how the walls were illuminated. Man, I'm really digging them. I am really happy with these things. Um, and so that is, I guess that's my honest opinion, is I think they're great, uh, especially with how affordable they are. Now, as I mentioned, I got the driving version. If you guys have something else that you're trying to accomplish with your lighting setup, you can get a flood pattern. They've got a spot pattern. Uh, I think there's another one. Um, they have a high powered version, which is probably a lot brighter. Everybody's use case scenario is gonna be different. I think these worked out really well and I'm definitely impressed with them, especially given how affordable uh, LastFit has made them. So I would like to finally say thank you so much to LastFit for sending me these out. Um, obviously I'm gonna have these linked in the description for you guys, linked to their website. And they've also given me a discount code that if, you got, if you're interested in purchasing these lights yourself, you can use the, the code EVIDENT10. I'll actually link all this kind of stuff in the description for you. Um, and you can get 10% off anything on their website. So they've got a lot of great lighting products. Um, definitely worth checking out. Definitely fun coming to a place like this to do a review of the lights. Man, what a blast. I, I, I think um, everything worked out really good, it performed really well, and this is definitely one of my f favorite places to run trail, and now probably one of my favorite places to run trail at night. So with that being said, you guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you got a lot out of it. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you out there.